Israel is getting ready to take the fight to Hezbollah in Lebanon. At the same time, the United States Army vessel General Frank S. Besson is on its way to the Mediterranean so its crew can set up a temporary pier near Gaza. This is video of the Israeli Defense Forces practicing logistics supply drills meant to simulate dropping off supplies to troops in enemy territory. An Israeli ground invasion into southern Lebanon to root out Hezbollah would likely include many drops just like this to get food, weapons, ammunition, and medical supplies to the soldiers who need them on the ground. Hezbollah is an Iranian-backed terror organization, like Hamas in Gaza, but they're much better funded by Iran and closer to the regime as well. Hezbollah is known to launch attacks across Israel's northern border, and those attacks increased after October 7th. Israel's military leaders knew from the start the war in Gaza could expand into a wider regional war. Now it looks like the IDF is aiding in that expansion. Israeli media outlets are reporting the army is moving ahead with plans for a ground operation into Lebanon, with the ultimate goal of launching a military campaign against Hezbollah. Part of those preparations include building bomb shelters for Israelis living in the north of the country, shelters capable of sustaining thousands of people for days at a time. Anyone living in northern Israel would be the target of thousands of missiles, rockets, mortars, and drones that would fill the sky if Israel was engaged in an all-out war on multiple fronts. The move by Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to send ground troops into Lebanon certainly has its critics. Thousands of protesters took to the streets in Tel Aviv, calling for Netanyahu's immediate resignation and demanding early elections. There isn't a lot of outcry from Lebanon's central government over a pending Israeli invasion. That's because Lebanon doesn't really have a government to speak of anymore after four years of economic crisis. Most public institutions ceased operation, and the military certainly doesn't have the ability to stop Israel, let alone keep Hezbollah in check. Meanwhile, the USAV General Besson started steaming towards the Mediterranean. The Besson started its journey a day and a half after President Joe Biden announced the United States would construct a temporary pier off the coast of the Gaza Strip. The Besson is a logistics support vessel and carries the first pieces of equipment needed to build the temporary pier, which will be used to offload humanitarian supplies from large ships before they're taken ashore by smaller vessels. More than a thousand soldiers from the Army's 7th Expeditionary Transportation Brigade will help build the floating pier, which will be made of separate barges that lock together. The Mediterranean Sea is known to be fairly calm, but temporary floating structures are still at the mercy of the water. Also, President Biden says there will be no U.S. boots on the ground in Gaza while the pier is being built, but as the Houthis are proving almost every day in the Red Sea, the boots don't need to be on the ground to be in danger.